New at 6 this evening, a Pima County Corrections officer is still on the job after being arrested for organized retail theft. And now some Sheriff Department staff, they are questioning that decision. News 4 Tucson investigators spoke with Sheriff Chris Nanos, who says there's a good reason why he chose not to fire him. Chorus Nylander is live outside the Pima County Sheriff's Department with the very latest. Chorus. Well, Sean, Jose Monreal Jr. is used to overseeing people behind bars at the Pima County Jail, but recently he found himself in custody and now he's already back on the job. I think that it's just a, another terrible decision from Sheriff Nanos. I think that this guy needs to be fired immediately. Aaron Cross is a Pima County Sheriff's Department sergeant and organizer of the union Pima County Deputies Organization. He's concerned by the recent decision not to fire Jose Monreal Jr., a Pima County Sheriff's Department corrections officer who was arrested in October by Sarita Police for felony organized retail theft and shoplifting just a few weeks after being arrested by his own department for theft. The News for Tucson investigators obtained the police report from Sarita Police. According to the report, Walmart Security was able to identify Monreal Jr. skip scanning 23 times over the course of three months in the self-checkout line, deliberately not scanning items like avocados, ice cream, and frozen foods. It was all captured on surveillance video, according to the report. After we started looking into it, the Sarita Police Department learned the Pima County Attorney's Office declined to prosecute the felony charges. According to Pima County Justice Court records, he's still facing three misdemeanor charges related to the initial shoplifting case. This wasn't a one-off mistake. This was a repeated pattern. Sheriff Chris Nano sees it differently and believes Monreal Jr. has been a great employee. He told the News for Tucson investigators that he convened a leadership panel to decide what to do with Monreal Jr. Every commander in that room that heard the case um, recommended he be terminated. But that's not what Nanos decided to do. Instead, Sheriff Nanos chose to give him a short suspension spread over multiple pay periods to protect his income. He says it's hardly the first time he's protected staff. We had people arrested, convicted of DUIs, of shoplifting, of all domestic violence, and they still work with us. Nanos told us there's a reason why he felt so strongly about saving Monreal's career. The main reason for me is this is a man who has six kids, he is the sole household provider, income provider for the family of six and his wife. And one of those kids is uh, dying of cancer. While Cross sympathizes with Monreal's hardship at home, he believes it's no excuse for him to keep his badge. I think that it's about public trust and it, it's a disgrace to the rest of us that do wear a badge for Pima County. And Sheriff Nanos tells me he made it very clear to Monreal Jr. that this is a last chance and if he were to commit any more crimes, he can't save them. And it would not only disappoint the Sheriff's Department, but Monreal's own family. I reached out to the Pima County Attorney's Office to understand exactly why they chose not to prosecute those felony charges out of Sarita. I did not receive a response back. Reporting live from the South Side, Cor Snylander, News 4 Tucson.